welcome to Live Stronger. Today is our day four and today we are going to work our chest. I hope your legs and your back has been completely recovered. Uh, if not your back, your legs certainly should be almost closely recovered. It might, uh, you might still feel a little bit of stiffness uh, extending to onto the third day. That's the reason why we give it uh, three to four days of gap in between every leg workout. Back should take a couple of days, but otherwise you should be good to go for your chest. So let's start with our stretching and warm up exercises. So we are going to begin our workout with the first dynamic stretch, which is the world's greatest stretch. We will keep doing this stretch on regular basis for four to five reps each side. I hope you by now you already got a uh, idea of how to execute it. If you're still in the process of learning, take your time in between each uh, repetition to set yourself up. Again, it's simple. One knee down, one foot forward, the other arm on the ground and then slowly push your knee down leg behind as much as possible to create a stretch. Push it up, reach the underside and turn. One. Don't hold the stretch for long periods of time. You just move through it. That second one, I'm just moving a little bit every time on every rep. So you can get an idea of the repetition. If you want, you can also try going really wide out and push your leg out to create a stretch in your inner thigh. For example, you can push and try to lean down. You'll feel a lot of stretch happening inside on the inner thigh. And then squeeze the lower back, uh, so the, low, uh, the leg which is behind, up. Go down and turn up. Do the wide stretch on the other side too. Push out. Try to go down. Squeeze. And that's our dynamic stretch, stretching startup. Now we are going to go for warm up exercises. We are going to warm up for our chest exercises today. For the, for the first warm up exercise, we are going to do regular bench press and with very nominal weight. If you're someone absolutely new, you can start with 2.5 if you are someone who occasionally visits the gym and has some experience, you can start with five kilos. Uh, even if you are quite habituated, start with five kilos. It's just a warm-up set. We'll try to get 20 repetitions, two sets, get the blood flowing into our chest, our triceps, try to activate our chest as much as possible and have our uh, shoulders less involved. So let's move on to our warm-up. So for our first warm-up exercise, we are going to do a flat bench press. I would prefer doing uh, crossovers on a cable machine, but I don't have a cable machine at my disposal, uh, but I still need to get my warm up done. So I'm going to do a regular bench press, couple of sets. I grabbed five kilo dumbbells. You can grab 2.5 if you're absolutely new. So this setup, you want to lay down for the warm up just flat on the bench with the dumbbells on your chest because you don't want to pick them off of the ground after you get up. If you're comfortable, you can let your feet down, just like that. I'll move a little bit back, I have space. Yep, feet down, right? I want, before you start, I want you to de-shrug your shoulders. Push your shoulders down, right? 
just de-shrug them so that your traps are not activated, just de-shrug. And now, imagine a position where you can push the strongest. For example, if I want to throw these dumbbells high into the air, if I do it from this angle, it feels very awkward and I wouldn't be able to produce much energy. But if I keep them a little bit closer to my body, where my elbows are a little bit tucked in, and I throw, I have a lot more stability and a lot more force generation. Now, I have figured out that this is my right position. I want to now step on to pushing my chest a little bit taller. So my chest comes forward and my shoulders fall back. Remember, we de-shrugged our shoulders, so they are, be they are now down and behind. So that's our cue. You want your shoulders down and behind your chest, creating a stretch on our chest muscles. And then at the position where we can pro uh, produce the maximum force, we push up. That's one rep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The way you take down the weight is turn the weights together, let them touch, Slowly bring them onto your chest, relax. Since this, these are lighter weights, you would be easily able to get up. If, you're the, if they are heavier, you would want to relax for a couple of seconds. Just bring them close, catch your breath, and then slowly get up. And that's a safe way to take the weights off your body without dropping them, stretching your arms, or getting one at a time. So, while I do them with the dumbbells, if at your gym or at your setup, you have a chest press machine, uh, you're more than welcome to do the warm up also on the chest press ma uh, machine. If you have cable crossovers, I'm at this moment of time not able to show you how to do them, but if you know, do the warm up, again, two sets, 20 reps, uh, middle height uh, crossovers mid-range crossovers with the cable machine, but we, I'm going to stick to the dumbbells. Uh, if, you, if you have bench press, which I don't have, I usually like to warm up still with dumbbells to learn the right position, the right angle, a little bit of stability training also happens here, so my shoulder doesn't get involved much when I move on to my bench press. Today I'm going to only stick to dumbbell presses because that's what is available with me. So if you are like me or if you want to also just do dumbbell presses like me, continue doing this. Since this is a warm-up set, we, we wouldn't be taking much of a break. So we'll go for the second set. Again, the setup is simple. Take your shoulders down, de-shrug. Slowly push your chest up, higher than your shoulders. So your chest comes before your shoulders when you open up. Elbows a bit tucked in, where you can produce the maximum amount of pushing force. And then rep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Dumbbells back on our chest, feet grounded, slowly get up. And we are done with our warm up. So we are going to start our first exercise. That's the double press 
with which we warmed up. If you notice, we always start, or at least I do, with the heaviest weight possible first. Uh, the reason why is because I'm really comfortable doing these exercises. I'm habituated to doing these exercises. So I, 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 I like to start with the challenging weight first and then see if it, is, if it feels okay and I'll, if I can jump a little bit heavier, I go heavier. If it feels really difficult, I drop down the weight. If you're someone who is starting absolutely new, you can increase the weight gradually. So if you're warmed up with 2.5 kilos, you can try five, five feels good, go for seven. Seven doesn't feel really good, come back to the five for the third set. So that's how you do your weight progression at least the first few weeks if you're absolutely new. If you're someone who has been doing this for some time now and you know which weight challenges you, I encourage you to grab the weight which challenges, uh, which challenges you the most. Do it on the first set, see how it feels. If it feels okay, continue with the same weight. If it feels light, pick up the next heavier weight. And then if that feels heavier, drop down back. So you, I, I hope you understood the crux of it. And now, since these are heavier dumbbells, I'm going to set it up quickly so that I don't waste much time in this setup and wasting my energy. You already remem uh, remember your cue points. Keep the dumbbells close to your body. de shrug and then push your chest high. So, de shrug chest high and go for the repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Bring it close to your chest and slowly get up. Put the dumbbells, the, the bench which I have with me is long enough so I can put them just on the bench. If the bench which you have is just short enough, just put them down and relax, catch your breath. Take a minute's break or maybe even 90 seconds before you either move on to a heavier weight, continue with the same weight, or if you want, if you weren't able to complete your 12 reps, take a small break, complete your 12 reps and drop the weight down. So that's set number one. We take a break and we go for our set number two. So for the second set, I increased my weight to 17.5 because I was easily able to do my 12 repetitions on the 15 kilos. Uh, there's one cue which I want to add is when you're doing the dumbbells, you have the freedom to move your arm in and out. Our chest, job is to do the adduction, bring our arm towards the midline of our body. So when you're pushing up, bring the dumbbells towards the midline of our body. It creates, it creates a better squeeze of our chest and that's, that's the main job of our chest, to let our arms go out, it stretches and when, our, when we bring our arms in front of us, the chest contracts. So pushing in its strongest point helps you develop the chest muscle much better. So let's go for our second set. De shrug, chest high and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now these dumbbells are heavy. I won't be able to get up with them. So I'm going to slowly drop one, two. Drop them comfortably and now I'll get up. Getting up with very heavy dumbbells would put unnecessary stress on your spine. So you want to slowly put them down. In this action, I don't want to put them down like this. I want to slowly lower them onto the floor. If you have a partner who is working out with you, 
take the help in getting the dumbbells off your hand if they are very heavy. That's set number two. We'll take a break and go for the set number three. For my third set, what I have done is I increase the incline of the bench by just one level, the least level possible. So if you have a bench which also has an incline option, go ahead and incline the bench by the least amount of height. If you don't have a bench, continue. Uh, if you don't have an inclined bench or the least amount of uh, a bench which has inclined shifts, continue with a flat bench. The reason why I want to focus a little bit more on my upper chest. Uh, and in this setup, we get the most, you don't have to really lift it really high, just one level up. That's, that would be sufficient. I also increase my weight to 20 kilos each hand. Just grabbed one weight wrong. Definitely felt heavier. So I'm going to put it back. So 20 kilos each hand. I think I'll be able to do it. If you're continuing with the same weight, continue with the same weight, you don't have to go heavier. I'm going to put them on my thighs so I can push them up with my legs when I lay down flat. And the cues remain same. De shrug first, then take your chest high and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that was challenging, so good weight. Slowly put them down. That's, we are done with third set. Take a good one minute break and we'll go back to our fourth set. Same with the incline setup. And since I'm, the 20 kilo dumbbells are challenging for me to finish 10 reps, I'll continue with the same weight. So, we are now going to do our last set for the bench press. I'm continuing with the same weight. 20 kilos, this time they're just on the ground. I'm going to grab them, put them on my thigh. Yep, loaded. Twin repetitions and maybe I'll try to hold the last two reps for extra amount of act, uh, chest activation. So one, two, let's go. De shrug, chest up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ah, nine. That was a lot challenging, so I'm going to relax. So the ninth rep felt really tough. I almost hit my failure. If that's the case with you, that means we have done a good job in terms of tiring our chest out. We are done with our bench press with dumbbells. If you have a bench press machine in your gym, uh, feel free to use that because there's very little uh, wrong. You can go with a preset bench press machine. If you have a bench press rack set up in your gym, use that if you know how to do the bench press with a rod, with a bar. If you don't, do it with me along with the dumbbells, learn stability, and then when the day comes, we'll move on to the uh, bench press setup with a bar. I discourage you to do it on a Smith machine, because Smith machine, if not a, two axis Smith machine. There are many Smith machines which move on two axis. You have both the X and Y axis movement. If you don't have that Smith machine and it's just one axis, the vertical one, don't use it. It has a very straight path and it's not natural movement for your arms and for your chest. There'll be a lot of load on your shoulders, at least not initially. Maybe if there is a specific reason, then you can use a, a Smith machine. Otherwise, not required. We'll stick to the dumbbells. 
So that's exercise number one. Now let's move on to exercise number two. For our second exercise, I'm using the uh, uh, PEC fly machine which I have at my disposal. I don't have the cable crossover machine or the cable machine where I can do cable crossover. So I'm going to use the uh, PEC fly machine. You can do this on even on the cable machine. The posture, the stance would almost be the same. The tension application also will be the same because end of the day this is also using cable uh, on the top to hang the weights down. So the setup is almost similar. It's just that you'll be standing there and here you'll be uh, seated down. So to start with the exercise, you place the uh, handles just beside you, just beside your shoulders. And then check your height of the handles. They need, uh, when you place them in front of you, your hands need to be in line with your chest. You don't want it to be too low or too high like this or like this. You want them just in line with your chest and you want to go just wide out, elbows a little bit bent. You don't need to go necessarily too far wide out because that would put some stress on your elbows. So just bend your elbows a little bit and then clap, bring it together. So I'll do a couple of reps, clap, clap. For the weight, you can choose uh, a weight when you would be able to do 20 repetitions. If you're doing it for the first time, I would advise uh, having the least amount of weight and doing the first 20 reps to get an understanding of the squeeze, of the adduction. If you're doing it, if you're someone who is habituated to this exercise, go ahead and choose a weight wherein you can execute 20 reps in a challenging manner. So I'm going to start. So my chest out and I'm just going to clap it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, so yeah, as I neared my 20th rep, I started feeling a good amount of soreness on my upper deck and on my uh, sides of my deck. That means my uh, positioning was right and I was able to create the maximum amount of squeeze. If you feel any kind of stress on the farther side of the shoulder, you have either placed it too high or too low. Just bring it a little bit closer to your chest, the stress. And the weight, 20 reps felt okay to me. So the next set, I'll be going to increase uh, maybe by five kilos. That's the incremental weight increase I have in my option. If you felt challenging, stay to the same weight. If you're new, maybe try the next weight and see how it feels. So take your break and we'll start the second set. So for the second set, I increased my weight by one increment, by five kilos, see how it feels. My target repetition would still be at 20 repetitions. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That was easy. I think I can go one increment higher for sure. I had a lot more energy, so I was pushing easier. 
So for the next set, I'm going to increase another five kilos. If you're with me, please do increase the increments available for you. Next exercise, we are going to do decline bench presses. Now, uh, not, I understand not every gym setup would have a decline bench. So, if you don't, I really do like the decline bench presses because they give a lot of work to my, to my lower pec muscle. But if you don't have a decline bench press, you can do decline, kind of a decline bench press. I'll show you the setup, how to do it after one set of the regular decline bench press. I've right now set the angle to the lowest decline level possible. And then I'm going to lay down slowly. The setup would be same. De shrug your shoulders, dumbbells just beside your chest where you can push the hard, hardest. Then chest up and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax slowly, drop the dumbbells down. Since you are already at a decline, the dropping range height would be less and then you can get up. That's first set of our decline presses. In the decline press, it's a learning curve. Uh, curve. You might feel a little bit of instability and uh, imbalance while doing it because you're at a decline and the weight wants to go behind your head. Uh, that's the reason, choose a bit lower weights, maybe five kilos, 2.5s to understand the movement. The press method is same as a flat bench press. You de shrug your shoulders, put your chest high, and keep your hands at a position where you can produce the maximum amount of pushing force and bring the dumbbell towards the midline of your body. So that's first set. Now I'll show you if you don't have a decline bench press and you have to manage with a flat bench how to do it. So I'll just take the setup to a flat bench press. Always check if your bench has been properly locked in in its position just to avoid any kind of mishaps. Now I, the setup is flat, so I take the same 10 kilos and I, this time I put my feet up, lay down comfortably, get a grab. And when I'm about to do it, I just raise my glutes up, squeeze my glutes, and I created a decline angle on a flat bench. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This setup, you might find it a little bit challenging because you have to keep your glutes high, raised up. At this uh, gym, I don't have a yoga mat at my disposal. Oh, you can also use a yoga mat or a foam roller just under your glutes to give you that decline angle. So you can use that for support. If you feel squeezing your glutes together is a bit challenging to stay in that decline angle. So that's our first set. We'll go for a second set after a short break. So we're going to go do our second set on decline. This time I would like to hit failure with my second set to feel extreme amount of pump in my chest. So I would target more than 10 repetitions. And let's see how it goes. I lay down comfortably. De-shrug my shoulders, push my chest high, 
and then push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 18, that was my last rep. So I slowly put my weight down and get up. So we are done with two sets of decline bench press. And that's it for this exercise. The reason why I'm not going for the third set is because since I'm coming off from a break, I want to take it slow. And if you're someone who's new and also coming off from a break, Decline, bench press. If you have a machine, go for the third set. Don't have a machine and you're doing it with a dumbbell or a bar, uh, barbell. Uh, take it slow because you need to learn how to stabilize the weight when you're on a decline. Make sure that the weight is not shifting heavily onto your shoulders, nor not stressing your shoulders much. So that's it for me for this exercise. We'll move on to our fourth exercise. For our next setup, we're going to do calf races, these are called the donkey calf races. I don't know why they're called the donkey calf races, but these are just calf races. You stand at a step-up box, or you can use some weights to step on, create some height, but you can let your calves, uh, let your heels go down, and then you can push up. And for support, you lean forward, either on a bench, or I'm just leaning forward on the, uh, Pec deck, pec fly machine seat. You can lean forward and then do the calf races. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. <sighs> That's failure. I definitely hit failure. I'm going to put my calves at a lengthened position by placing my toes on the box and heels on the floor and then pushing myself forward, creating a calf stretch. Hold it for just five to 10 seconds. That's set number one. We are going to do it again in our set number two. Second set. The first set really got my calves sore and tight. So I'm going to see how many repetitions of till failure I'm going to be able to do for my second set. And the setup is same. Toes at a height, heels dropped. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, Three. Okay, that's failure. I'm going to put my calves at a stretch by placing my toes on the box and heels on the ground and pushing myself forward with my legs straight, stretching my calves for five to ten seconds. <sighs> yep, and, and we are done with our fourth exercise.
So for the last exercise, we are going to do dead hangs for our forearms. Sorry, there is a lot of backlight, but you already are aware of this exercise. We just hang for as long as possible to strengthen our grip strength. This time I have a timer to time myself and see how uh, long I can hang. So I'm going to start the timer and then hang, deduct the few seconds from the time. So, and there you go. I dropped, oh good, I lasted almost 43 seconds and I felt a great amount of stretch in my forearms and that concludes our chest day. You must be wondering, uh, we just did three exercises but uh, to start off the first week, I just, uh, I'm pretty sure you weren't able to see my face there because of the amount of backlight. But uh, for the first week, that's more than enough for our chest. Uh, people who are well experienced and most certainly if you're joining me, I'm very grateful for following me. Uh, you can definitely add a couple more of sets of what I have done, but people who are coming off from a break or who have a little bit, ex uh, just some knowledge about exercise and are following my routine to get stronger and build a great physique. This is uh, sufficient. Our exercise are quite efficient and quite crisp. Uh, we, have, we are very focus driven. As we gradually uh, go through the weeks and days, I'm going to increase the intensity, increase the exercises or the repetitions, whatever feels right at that moment of time in the structure of the program. But otherwise, yes, we are done for the day. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.